It's amazing what we uh, pick on our parents and family members, particularly myself, my parents in, in one instance, and uh, later in life we find being called out by them for doing the same thing. Hey guys, Rescue Rider here. Got a funny little story. Has to do with my intro. So, um, so the funny story goes that, uh, well, a little history first. My, uh, mother is huge into genealogy. And so, for those of you who don't know, it's like looking up family trees and things like that and discovering things. And years ago, I don't remember exactly what age I was, and I can't remember if it was um, summertime or if it was uh, spring break. But I remember we like uh, borrowed this van from someone in our church and it was one of those like uh, Econoline vans or whatever Chevy calls them and had like a TV a VCR in it and the big captain's chairs and it was myself and my two brothers and my parents. Um, so one of us, you know, got the big bench in the back and the other two got the captain chairs and we just watched movies the whole time as we took a road trip to Montana. So the whole way we're going there, we're kind of like, you know, Mom, why are we going to Montana? What's what's good in Montana? We've never been to Montana and all this. And Mom's, you know, talking about this great thing about how she found this person. And they're, you know, going to direct us towards some family members and whatnot. And, you know, we're kind of like, oh, okay. And, you know, we, we grew up good. Um, but we didn't, you know, go on a lot of road trips or stay in uh, hotels or nothing like that. And Dad used to make the comment that uh, if we were dead or if he was dead, Mom would pay more attention um, because she was just she just loves genealogy, she loves family history, and that was just her thing. And it still is. And uh, so, you know, here we are, uh, headed cross country. And, you know, mom's telling us, you know, it's going to be great. You guys are going to have lots of fun. And, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, where are we staying? Well, we're staying with this gal that I met online that, you know, pointed me in the direction of the family. And the family happened to be my grandfather's biological family. He was adopted. Um, so it was like, oh, oh, wait a minute, repeat that again. We're staying with someone I met and they're gonna point us in the direction of our family. Okay, have we talked to this family before? Well, not really, you know, I've sent an email or a phone call to tell them we're coming, but no, we've never met. I mean, it's, it's Grandpa's biological family. Okay. So we, for years now, have harassed my mother in a joking manner. Um, for meeting up with a family on the internet in uh, the late 90s, I think it was. So we're talking, you know, the very first uh, DSL or dial-up, uh, prior to DSL, sorry, dial-up. And, uh, you know, you talk about internet safety nowadays and stuff. I mean, there's some things that are safer and there are definitely things that are a lot more dangerous when it comes to internet and your safety. And, you know, we would, we would give her a hard time about this, you know, mom took us to this person's house. And we literally, like, rolled in this person's house, like, right at dark. And just, like, they had beds made for us and stuff, and we just crashed and went to sleep that night. Like, talk about right out of a, some kind of sci-fi or some kind of criminal show. Oh, it's terrible that I still make fun of it. So anyways, uh, I'm telling my mother about my moto vlogging experience and all the great people I'm meeting and stuff. And she goes, oh really? And, and, and how, are you, how are you finding these people? How are you meeting them? And I said, well, you know, uh, dad's, you know, co-worker, blah, 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 I met online. And just come to find out, you know, we, but it's okay because dad works with him and that's, you know, he's a good guy, you know. And then they got to talking and, you know, Everett and I have some things in common and we started talking about, you know, we, we became friends on Facebook and whatnot, and and she goes, really, 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 and I said, what's that, Mom? And she goes, 
how many years are you guys gonna harass me about meeting people on the internet and just hitting it up with them and going to their house so uh yeah <laughs> uh mom is always right and uh don't pick on your mother because uh sooner or later she's gonna get you back even if you think you're right and you're tough um you're wrong and uh, you're gonna find yourself doing the same thing so i thought it was kind of funny that you guys get a chuckle out of that so especially uh you know shout out to Everide as well as nesta productions and the rest of you guys i've met um <laughs> you know the internet's amazing we've been able to connect with a lot of people that uh, live distant from us and whatnot that's really cool but it also just it's pretty funny that back when the internet first came out and i was a young child i i've given my mom you know a hard time ever since about the house she took us to from the person she met on dial-up internet anyways i hope you guys get a little bit of chuckle out of that i you know i did the, a couple days ago when she said it to me and uh hey guys i want to uh, tell you something really quick because i want to talk about something in a later video and talk about distraction if you notice at all with my head going to the left there you know i had the right away but there was a distinct um thing i noticed there is that that particular car uh, had plenty of time and had the right of way, but it seemed like they were allowing another car to go, which would have pulled out and hit me. So you guys always have your head on a spindle. Stay safe, keep your rubber on the ground. If you like it, hit the like. If you love it, share it up. And uh, if you want more, please subscribe. Rescue Riders out.